It's night time. Tide of headlights rush towards, weave down the road, roaring wave. I flag down a cab. He pulls over. I say, take me to Jerome Glory. The driver stares across the street and points. Now I understand. Sleepy-eyed girls sitting in the lobby of my hotel, stepping in and out of elevators. Practiced blank face, sheath of tight black dresses. I cross over. It's early. The street is almost empty. Phantom glow of neon light, flickering bar signs, smell of sweet fried potato from the food stalls. Children sit on the curb, tilt a soft drink bottle. Girls cluster in doorways, lean on parked cars, stare back. One or two tilt their heads at me, call me over. I go into a bar, climb the dark stairs, immediately in a dense sea of noise. The place has a dance floor the size of a postage stamp, and it is packed full Jerking bodies swept together and melted into a single form in the white hot stuttering sweep of the scroll light. There's a notice on the wall at the back, one way indicated toilets, the other just said massage. Girls sit either side of me. One starts the conversation, wanting to know which hotel I'm staying at. The other gets up and slides away, leaving a cigarette packet balanced on her half-empty drink to keep her place at the bar. After a quick beer, I get up and leave. It's too noisy, I tell the first one. I can't hear myself think. Back outside, I assemble my camera. Bar signs, street shots, girls and kids swim in and out of view. A few strike blank eye poses. A few object to being photographed. One protests, telling me, no pictures, and then begins to laugh as I take about half a dozen. I watch her blink in the flashlight, dazed, smiling, shaking her head. We talk, trade names, up. All the time, taxi cabs pull in and out of the street, figuring an easy fare, because they know once you score, you're going to need a ride back to your hotel. I go back later. No camera now. The street is thicker, pulsing. One girl thickly made up, sitting on some stone steps, she says. Where are you going? You want me to come to your hotel room? We go round. I ask her to explain this going round business. She says, you know, go round. I say, I don't know. So she starts to whisper a more detailed explanation in my ear, but she keeps bursting into fits of giggles and doesn't get too far. I tell her, thanks, 
anyway, and also mention my wife and baby. I run into Inda again with friends and we stand and talk until midnight. I'm talking to some guys still in school, one in the military. They tell me the girls go for five or ten dollars a night. Someone like Inda, maybe fifteen to twenty. And a really nice girl will go back to a five-star hotel for twenty-five dollars. Indonesian slang for a hooker is perak. And also now on the street they call it Roxanne after the police song. The girls come in from villages, central or west of Java, sometimes married, abandoned by their husbands once they get to Jakarta, look for work, hit the streets. Now that's the reason, one of them tells me, they don't like to be photographed. They are ashamed and frightened that there's a chance that somehow someone from their village will see a picture. At last, I bid them all good night. The boys, Inda, her friend Nancy, solemn handshakes all around. Inda blows me a kiss. Next night, I take a camera, a cassette recorder, and pictures of my baby daughter, Emma. The street is quiet. I talk to a few people. One girl calls me over. She knows enough English to explicitly detail what she can do for me. I show her some baby pictures. Later, Inda and Nancy show up. I pull out the tape recorder and Inda starts to laugh, saying, no, 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 no. I pull out the pictures of my daughter again and quite a few girls crowd around and look at them, rapidly talking back and forth. Inda turns to me. She's a very happy baby, she says. One of the girls offers me a cigarette. I tell her I don't smoke. Inda starts in. No smoke, no drink, no ladies. Later, it's time to go, and this time, it really is goodbye. I'm flying back to USA next morning. We stand and talk for a few minutes more. You have memory of me, Inga says, pointing at my camera and tape recorder. I have no memory of you. Nancy asks me when I am coming back to Jakarta. I say, maybe next week. We all love.